In today's video, I'm doing my collaboration with Natalie, and we are doing a Decorate With Me. So, dear friends, let me introduce you to Natalie. She is married, and she's a stay-at-home mom with two adorable toddler boys. She brings to you in her videos cleaning, organizing, recipes, and all lifestyle-related things that you can imagine. And let's not forget her little five-pound Morky named Emma, so adorable. You can find her information linked in the description box below. You guys go say hello to Natalie and tell her I sent you and say hello to her. And today I am going to be decorating this little area here. This is just outside my pantry and beside my refrigerator. And I'm also going to be decorating this little area here. And this is in my kitchen. And these are just staple pieces that stay all the time. And you seen me at the beginning of the video, I put up these curtains. If, if you remember when I did a spring haul, I wanted some yellow curtains. Well, they're not yellow. They were more of a gold color. So I just decided to keep them. So this is late summer and I wanted to do my little bee theme in my kitchen on my shelf area here. So I've already put up the curtains and I'm gonna decorate just this little area right here. And those are just pieces that I love that was up there for the summer. And I'm just gonna leave them there and add, incorporate my bee uh, theme. And then the vegetable basket, I'm going to use that all the way through fall, so I'm going to do something with that today. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I added on my top shelf was this little jar with the bees. And I didn't want to change out a whole lot. I, I don't know, I just love that pottery barn picture up there that I thrifted with some of the wooden utensils in it and I just love everything about that. So that may be all that I do on that shelf. The next item I added is the little bee skip and I made this out of some twine and some little beads that was like six on a card and I glued that together. I used to have a video on that but there is all kinds of videos you can go watch and see how to make those. They're just a lot of fun to make and I made several. I think I've got a couple in my booth but I kept one and this is the one that I kept. This next item that I added was just a little mini colander that I got from Hobby Lobby last year on their clearance aisle. And I just love the color of it. it I can take that straight into fall. And I had some little sunflowers that I added in there to really give it a pop of color. And look how it matches my kitchen curtains. The next item, I decided to take a couple of things down there on the top shelf and I did leave the plate back there, but I put the sign up there, Honey Bee Lane, and I definitely wanted to add that in my collection today. Next, I added the little vase there on the left. I cannot remember where I got this, I'm thinking maybe several years ago. It, and when I find some bee stuff, I do love it and I think it is very whimsical and it's very cute, but uh, I do like collecting a little bit of that and putting it out. It would look, it looks good here on my sh kitchen shelves, 
but it also would look good on my hutch or on my sideboard. So I'll be able to bring this out each year and maybe add little pieces as I go. Here I go moving things around. I went ahead and moved over those sunflowers in front of that platter. I really like how it pops in front of that white ironstone platter and it won't be a little bit of bee stuff if there wasn't a little bit of ray done. So I have that little honey jar with the little honey spoon sticking out of it with a couple of bees on it. How adorable. Okay, the last item I'm going to add to my shelf up there is my limelight plant. I love it there and it's doing really well. So I wanted to add that back up there for a great pop of color. Now let's move on uh, to the vegetable basket. Most of you know that I thrifted that vegetable basket and I have had a lot of fun decorating it. I had some lettuce and cabbage in it for the summer and I've removed all of that. I have swiped and wiped down my kitchen area so you don't have to see all of my dirt. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this little basket decorated for the end of summer season. The first item that I added was this little honeycomb tea towel. And I actually got that, I believe, from Hobby Lobby during uh, one of their spring clearance. Who says you have to use it in the spring? So I've added that and let's move on to the next item. I have added some wood elements to my vegetable basket and I've got one of the little wood scoop bowls uh, in the back, back behind the basket. I've got a small cutting board. I've got a wooden scoop and I've got some old vintage rolling pins, three of them there on the right of the basket. The bamboo cutting board remains there. I like that and I've got it placed there because there's a plug there and it sort of hides it. I wanted to bring in some more texture so I have on hand this little galvanized bucket that I placed there on the left inside the basket along with some greenery. In comes the little bee, just in case you missed him. He is sitting on the greenery in the galvanized bucket. And added just a little sign that says, just be. The next two items that I added is some glass jars and I just love the natural wood lid on these. And I have some honey spoons and some copper cookie cutters placed in those. Now, next, let's go ahead and move over to the cutting board. On my cutting board, I have this yellowware bowl and I have this cloth cover. You got a three pack of them from Hobby Lobby and I either got them last year or the year before, but I love this one. It matches my curtains. I have my cereal in there. So instead of looking at what's in the bowl, uh, I just decided to cover it and I love how that looks. To finish off the cutting board, I added my honey if I want to put that in my cereal. And also I've got my blessed bee cup all ready for tea or coffee at any time. And then there is the little bee that's just over there left of the cup. He's a little hard to see but he's just buzzing around over there. So let's go ahead and move on to the next area under the counter. This area here is just under my counter in my kitchen and I like to keep those items there at all times. So I'm just gonna add a couple of little items to the hooks. For this area, I just added a little bee towel and some 
measuring spoons and I think that that completes that area. Now in this corner, I just have my calendar that stays there. One day, Mr. Fixit is gonna build me some cutting board shelves for that area and I look forward to sharing that with you. But for now, I've got a couple of items to dress this up little area I always have that stool sitting there and I like to keep that cutting board sitting there unless I'm using it for decoration I have a, the basket and I put the beads on it that I had made several years ago and it says buzz and I added the little tea towel and I have some of my garden vegetables in there well the onions not my husband brought that home from the store and then I have the bee apron hanging up there. I got that on clearance from Hobby Lobby. I was happy to get that. I think I paid $6 for it. And I've got an old egg beater hanging off the hook up there with the apron. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I was hoping that I could bring you some inspiration for the end of summer going into fall soon. And be sure and go over and say hi to Natalie. Be kicking off my fall decorating July the 30th. I'll be doing a collaboration with Melanie Thompson. Looking forward to that and then we will get right into the decorating series for fall. I hope that you all are having a blessed summer, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.